Ah. Another bright, beautiful morning. Right, Josh? Yeah, very bright. Ah. Let's go get some stuff done. Do, 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 do. What are you doing up here? What's wrong? You all right? Oh yeah, eat those bugs. Especially the ones that bite me. All right, so what are we gonna do today? Map out your future. Map out my future? That sounds pretty, uh, my future, there ain't much future left. Maybe we're mapping out your future. Is this your future? Is all this gonna be yours? I don't think I have anything to do with this. I just put all four in my wheel. I'll just have all four of you fight for it. <laughs> do some sort of a uh, uh, game. Just like, just wipe out in the pool. Yeah, all right. So what we're doing is Josh is holding the engineer drawings for the retaining walls because two of our walls are over four foot and they require a stamp. He also has the plans for the basement walls, which we're gonna lay out because Josh is leaving today. And I want some uh, help laying those out. So, why am, why are we opening up yet another project when I have other stuff to finish, you say? Because Chris requires these things to be marked out so that he can do them. And if I don't have this stuff ready, then he leaves. And then he might not be back for six months and that sucks. So I have to, one of the jobs of running a project is you have to have things ready so that people that show up to work can do work. And uh, Chris could mark it out, but he said he would spend a day to do it and charge me. Can you believe that? Charge, charge me. Charge me for a day and uh, yeah, we ain't got time for that. We're gonna take the handy da dandy marking paint and the engineer has drawn that the footings for this wall be 54 inches wide, 12 inches thick. And the reason for that is, I think without looking, I think about a foot of it is in, so it'll line up with this wall. So about a foot of it's in front and the rest of it is behind so that it acts. And then once we put all the, uh, the backfill in, it acts like a lever because dirt is pushing this way. So, you know, if you have something hanging out so it won't tilt up. So that's that's the reason for the thickness. I think it's gonna be like the extra that way. Correct. Yeah. Is that what I said? I thought you said the other way. Oh, see? Josh is here to represent all the viewers to make sure that I get it right. Yeah, the extra goes this way so that it has all this weight on it to keep it, you know, help it from tilting. So we're gonna come 20 feet. So the engineer requires at a uh, max of 24 feet, but 20 foot intervals to have a, I have to read, remember even what it's called right now, to be honest with you. It's basically a common seam and it's filled with a special caulk. I guess it can, ex expansion joint, that's it. So we're gonna come straight for 20 feet, make it easy on my guy. So we'll come straight for 20 feet straight and then we're going to go off at whatever the angle this is which is roughly it might be a 45 I was thinking 30 degrees but might be more like 45 we'll see and it goes and the rest of it will be in a straight line this way it's going to end up tapering down but it'll end before we get to the foam over there but the the idea is that all this can be built up and sloped out that way so I guess we better get to doing something so we've taken our handy dandy tape measure where I'm standing is 20 feet and so wherever we do the break to go off the other way is where the steps are going to start because the steps are going to be in the angle you walk out of the back of the house this is all patio you come through that little area you want to go down to the bottom pool I don't think you want to be any further than this well if you're going to the bottom pool you're going to go with that side right Correct, but there'll be, so this patio down here, so there'll be some limited area patio down here, which 
I could envision in the future this is probably going to have like a fire pit or a uh, outdoor fireplace or something, but that won't be now. That's a possibility for the future. But this is also where we're supposed to put the water slide in the future. That's what this will be for. That's right. There's a water slide that dumps in there that will come up. So we don't want to get any closer because we'll be in the way of the water slide. Go down a little bit. All right, you got it? Does this look relatively straight? We'll put the laser on it later. Okay. All right. Now come hither. You stand at the green spot. No more than 60 feet. Uh, that's 50 right here. The driveway's flat. From here forward, it's going uphill. So we can actually stop this one a little early. So what angle is that? It's not a 90. That's probably 45. Well, I think it's more like, like a 135. It is, correct. Talking about the reverse side of it. So question is, are we happy with that? Because, like, if you want to be even with this, then you need to be more like there. Like that? You see what I'm saying? Yeah, more like that. Because that opens it up more. Because the more we go this way, the more it closes your space in. The more you go this way, obviously it opens it up. But you don't want to get ridiculous. I think that's too much. Why don't I do it so that it's aimed at that tree down there. So when you come down the road, you're looking down the wall, you see what I'm saying? So basically we're aiming this about with the curve. All right, bottom detail. See how it's got, here, let me do it. You hold that side. See how it's got all the letters? Four foot. Yep, so A is four foot for the CM5 and for the CMU6 is four foot six. This is the CMU6 because it's the okay. taller wall. So four foot six. So we need a measurement from the front of the actual wall, not the brick or whatever facade we use, but the actual CMU block. So W plus B is gonna be to the front of the wall. That's correct. So, so then, right, so what's W and B uh, for B the is, CMU six? B is two and a half and then W is 11 and five eighths of an inch. Okay. So it's about almost three and a half. Okay. So that means one foot to the front. Yeah. A little little bit. One foot and three eighths of an inch. Okay. To the front. All right. So that's what we'll do. Ta da. Algebra. Algebra. It's like 16 inches. <laughs> okay. Roughly. Bam! Huh? Pretty impressive, was it? That's why you need streamline. That's all right. Chris just wants the general area right now. Now this wall, I planned on just being straight. Comes off this corner, comes across. Realistically, what, what I probably should do with this one is come across here and then turn and go back into the hill a little bit because I don't want to taper this one down because it ended up way over there and it's going to be patio for the pool so it doesn't need to be near this far where i'm at over here but if it stops somewhere in here set of steps coming down but i always wanted these to curve towards that but i don't think i'm gonna be able to pull that off and where do you go down to nothing i mean it's hard to visualize because you got the big pile of dirt here but if it ends up going down to nothing here you end up with this staggered wall I just don't think that's what I want over here. See all the decisions you have to make? It's great. You got it all figured out? Yeah. Okay, what are we doing? We're gonna go out here about 30 to 40 feet and then you're gonna cut back into this dirt wall. Do we just do this one with a straight wall or does it need to match the lower wall? Hmm? 
how how tall is the dirt going to go? So the dirt is going one foot taller than what it is now. And when it gets down near us, it's going to be about the level of the uh, brick ledge right there. Where I am, it'll be It'll blend into here, not be a steep. If we just go straight, then this area of dirt's gonna look kind of stupid. If you curve it or turn it, then you also get like a nice big front lawn. See, I knew I kept you around for something. But this one already starts angling before we even get to this corner. It's on an angle all the way over here. So we either come over some, then angle it, or we just angle it completely from the beginning. What would that to there, 25 feet? That's big enough? I mean, just saying if it would look stupid. Oh. That's the only question. Oh, you're wondering if it gets too tight. I mean, no matter what, you're not going to use it for anything. But yeah, because this is this is all. This is probably going to be grass. To be honest with you, it's getting ridiculous on no amount of concrete. So I mean, to match that, it needs to just start angled right from the very beginning. We want it to come out. To, it'll taper down to here. That's way wide, okay. Yeah, it'll be more like this. Roughly. All I really gotta do right now is just get some markers on the ground because Chris is gonna come in and change it all anyway. All right, so no steps for this one either. How much of it's gonna be lawn versus like? Oh, well, all of that's lawn except for where the driveway comes in. Well, what about like, uh... What do they call them with like bushes and stuff? Landscaping? Yeah. Yeah. How well, be well, a lot of this will be landscaping because you want to break up all the rough look. Yeah. And this will be brick on the front of this wall. Those will be rock all the way across, but this is brick. Unless I change up, but right now that's what it is. So this becomes all dirt, grass, probably the corner of the house. All over that way will probably be some sort of patio, and then this is all grass. So, okay. want to live in nowhere? Can't wait. <laughs> Don't want to live in nowhere. <laughs> That'd be your job. Be down in the basement. Be like, oh, it's time to mow. As long as you can double up as a uh, grandma's caretaker. Oh God, that's what I'm doing already. <laughs> Not even close yet, homeboy. That's true. That is true. All right. So this actually graded pretty nice. So I'm fine with this. So the only reason we're doing anything up here is because of that. Because if we build it all the way up to there, it's just going to fall. So I don't think this thing needs to be anything crazy at all. Yeah, which one of these? Which of these? That one? That one's coming out. Those are staying unless they get in the way of the garage. but. I think I'm gonna be able to put the garage right there, so I think it's gonna be okay. I think this big marker is telling me that. Yep. Sorry, Twee. You shouldn't have tried to kill me. Gotta go. All right. Yeah. Well, plus it's just falling apart. What a branch fall off? Yeah. That one didn't do great. This one leans a lot. We should probably take mm -hmm. it out too. You know which way a tree falls? The way it leans? The way it leans. Hmm, that's true. Right onto my new garage. The garage will be here. I'm trying to think of any reason to do this one any more than about where you're standing. Mm -hmm. Can you come up with anything? Not really. All right. We just need enough to build. See how he tapered it up there and it stops about here? That's about right. So, so like, you're, yeah. you're still going to pull through the port de chez Correct. And then garage is going to be... What about where the shipping containers like, are. Facing towards the house? Yeah. yeah. So you pull through and pull in. So there would be, like, a narrow gap to here? Uh... No. Well, it'll sit like back there. Yeah. Some, yeah, that gap. There you go. Come out about a foot. Go back about two feet to this one. There you go. All right. Now to inside. Now to inside. We need to put some waters in the fridge. Hey, hey. Hey, hey, hey. All right. So Hopefully the audio issue is fixed. Let me tell you, this is the life of a YouTuber. 
You record, because I record with a GoPro. So if you record with your phone, life is easy. Keep your phone charged, it works, there you go. But it's a super pain when it comes to uploading, editing, and a bunch of other stuff. So you graduate to the GoPro. And then you say, well, I want my people to be able to hear so you get better audio. And there's always something to mess up. But when it all works, it's great. Anyway, looks like uh, Chris is down here recording the intro to his little video. Dueling GoPros? Dueling GoPros. I'm just, I'm just looking at all the pieces that are broke on mine. Shocker. Shocker. You mean a GoPro's broke? No, it's the mount. Yeah. Same thing. Yeah. Everything's it, falling apart. Yeah. Uh, the I see you started. I started. Hey, that's got some clay right there. Yeah. Not bad. Right. Don't even go there. I, I try to give James stuff to do, and he just don't care. Actually, that ain't it. I know James cares, but look. Hmm. I don't know about you, but that looks a little, little dirty. I checked the water. I looked the water, and it looked clean in it. Well, I don't know what you mixed up, but unless you had some mixed stuff in there before I, done I it. probably did. That's Passing why you, the blame. I, every yeah, time. It's your fault, Jeff. It is. It's always my fault. Always it's always my fault. fault. But I will accept that as long as James accepts that if anybody needs something broken, put him operating. Nah. I don't think so. Everything. No, hey, I'll admit it. If I did break it, I'll admit it. But if I didn't do it on purpose, it ain't my fault. <laughs> I didn't say you do it on purpose. I just said you do it. He already admits he tears stuff up on purpose. <laughs> <laughs> I'll tell you if I did, didn't do it on purpose. <laughs> what the hell would you admit? <laughs> well. Brown. Well. We decided that, uh, you know, we had put dirt back, so now it was time to take some more away. So you saw earlier when Josh and I were laying out the retaining walls. So now Chris, since the 220 is leaving today, he's going to take back and dig that dirt back. And we got to look on the other side and see if he's got to for that one. Because uh, he needs to just be able to get in there with the mini. Because he'll bring it back, uh, not next week, but the week after. And we'll dig the footings. So for our retaining walls, that'd be nice to finish that up. Next week is the pools. Put your head in my what you want out the window. We can wake up anywhere tomorrow. It don't matter where we go, we're going somewhere. Get in there.
Chris got the uh, heel cut back for the retaining wall. He said he left enough room for him to be able to work the mini in there and everything. So he'll come back in about a week and a half, dig the footings. And uh, I guess the other ones he felt like he could just do with the mini, but this one he wanted to move it with the 220. So as you can see, the 220's gone. Man, that thing hadn't been gone for months. Kind of became a fixture of the landscape.